Good morning from Cologne. Right now we are our, in our new city, new location. And as you can hear, the city is kind of different, it's kind of noisy. Because right now we are in uh, Bano. And next to Bano, there is the most beautiful uh, thing that you can find in uh, Cologne. And the, it is the most best attraction in Cologne and the most visited attraction of Cologne. Yes, so we are sorry about for noise. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, but right now we are standing in this main square where there's a lot of people, a lot of tourists and as it's Bano, like, like next to us as well so a lot of people are coming out and uh, there are some manifestations or something yeah. like that so yeah, as you can hear some music right now exactly and yesterday we came to that city uh, yeah, yesterday can you say night, what happened yesterday? You know, so yesterday night we arrived here and after coming to the city we were a little bit lost for some time because we it was kind of difficult for us to figure out how the city works, yeah. how the trains, buses in the city. Everything is mixed. It's very different, yeah. Unpredictable, to be honest. Like, I think that they built everything to the city, not for the people to understand it very easily, but still, it's a viable the city, I think. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and after that, in the night we went to went out to enjoy the Friday night because it was Friday. So we went out to a beer club. Yeah, at so first beer it was. Pop, yeah. And then we went to the club. Club. Where, yeah. Where was mostly African music and mm -hmm. a lot of cool music, to be honest. Yeah. We were dancing, enjoying the night. Exactly. And then we came back to our hostel. Now we are here. And the yeah. and the spot which we are talking about is the Cologne's most oldest Gothic church. You can see behind us. This is what Cologne is known for. And you can see everywhere lots of tourists, lots of things going on. So we'll be going inside the church now, looking around, and probably try to go at the top of the church if it's open. So we'll see you there. Enjoy the vlog. See you. Tower of the Clone Cathedral, <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> Do you hate it? <laughs> there is no place. Ah, oh, it's end. Oh, almost. Glocken bells. We're still not at the top, but there, there is this thing Glocken bells. So we first go here, but it's really very high. And no place at all. So, guys, right, right now we are almost at the top. We came out of the spiral. Tower. We'll talk, I'll talk about it once we get down because 
there is no space at all to walk it's very un unconvenient inconvenient to be honest but it's worth it so i hope that i'll go in the top and see the beautiful view because it's worth it but it's too much of climbing too much of climbing see you upstairs so guys right now we are at the top of the tower and as you can see the view is wonderful really? yes and you can see in front of you the river rhine and the whole city of cologne really beautiful climbing this high is worth it to be honest yes and look at this as we're in prison you know yeah so that we don't fall or things don't fall and you can see like some people try to throw coins i don't know if you can i can capture but there are some coins stuck there on the roof so here i don't know if you can see at yeah it's wonderful guys Hello. right now we came from the top of the cathedral again to the bottom yes and, and it was to be honest not the easiest uh, way to the top exactly of every cathedral that we visited mm -hmm. but it was worth it we saw the whole city yeah and um, yeah i liked it yeah so now from, for my opinion in my opinion to be honest see like we went to the top of berlin storm we went to the top of dresden cathedral and to be honest like, i didn't have wow effect yeah, exactly say, like yeah. in berlin is dom we had an amazing yeah. experience it was really good it was again very difficult to climb because you can't once you start you can't go back and it was very exactly. narrow exactly and the thing is that it's very to be honest my opinion not stupid but it's the old architecture so of course they didn't think about it probably mm -hmm. that time but when you're climbing ah uh, you have you, like stairs are like that and people are like climbing yeah. together opposite sides and you exactly. have to stand and wait for people who climbing up mm -hmm. and because everything is so close and so less space that yeah it's, and it's, it's, like, it, it's like a spiral complete spiral to be honest and it's uh, it's never ending it's like exactly. more than 530 steps yeah. you feel like it's and you're not going to end at all, all continuously in a yeah. loop it's like it's it's a experience worth taking to be honest but like it's a lot exactly it's really a lot yeah it and the view exhausting. to be honest yeah Take very water exhausting with you because we didn't do that you need water and to be honest the view from the top you get to see the whole city but the effect which we got in berliner's dom and in dresden yeah. it was much better experience yes. because the view was really good this city is kind of mixed to be honest it's like a little bit modern but also old and we don't know what how the city felt us felt for us yes it was to be honest mixed feelings because exactly. everything is mixed Mm -hmm. uh, old architecture with new architecture and uh, buildings from from different uh, periods of yeah. time, let's say. And it's kind of everything is not it doesn't suit each other. You don't have the whole beautiful picture of the city to be exactly. honest. Exactly. But it's the feature of the city, I would say. Yeah, it's this. It's this the uniqueness of the city and yes. it's worth experiencing yes. so yeah i would say if you have lots of energy and you can climb 532 steps it's worth going on the top yes yeah. but uh, no you have to do that you yeah, have to experience exactly. it i think if you want of course mm -hmm. we told you our opinions as i'm always saying and uh, please now make your conclusions and understand if you want to go there or no we exactly. make those vlogs for you to Mm -hmm. Make life easier and don't waste time on yeah. unneedable things, not worse things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now our mission is to find water first, <laughs> and then go to the next location. We don't have a lot of time in the city, and a lot of time in the city for now. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, please, water. Really, we need it. 
so guys just beside the um, cathedral we also have a ludwig museum here and it is also one of the good attractions and good museums to visit if you're interested we don't have a lot of time so we won't be visiting this museum but just for your information you can visit this museum and there is a lot of good paintings and architecture inside so worth visiting so uh, sorry but you forgot probably about uh, my part of vlogging so the main attraction here you thought museums cathedral or some like I don't know clubs or something no the main attraction here is this perfect how you call it slide slide so right now you can't see it because a lot of tourists want to visit this place as you can see it's crowded but still you can see the main generation right now is enjoying the time because old people don't understand I think do you see those those legs yes. right now you will see oh, how yeah, yeah. Okay. So guys, right now we are on the banks of the river Rhine. You can see. And the weather, to be honest, is perfect to sit outside on the bank and eat something. You can walk around there along the river or you can eat some somewhere here in the cafe and it's really good. The weather today is amazing and we are so happy. Yeah, because I'm amazing. So guys, after an amazing lunch on the banks of River Rhine, we are we have come forward a little bit to our next location, which is Great Saint Martin's Church. You can see right behind us. Uh, it's not very much like a great tourist attraction anymore because of the buildings you can see around, and it's a, almost a residential area. But the church is really beautiful. You can see yes. the architecture. Not is really so many good. tourists here. Yeah. But still, this is most funny. of them just walk around River River Rhine, yeah, and don't come here a lot. But still, it's uh, one of the main major attractions in. And it looks Kyo, very beautiful. And it really looks beautiful. So mm -hmm. if you be come here, you can visit this place as well, guys. Right now, we are at the old market of Cologne. You can see behind us a lots of a lots of cafes. Yeah, um, this in every market, main square. Main square, say, yeah. yeah, main square. And here the iconic, uh, you can see the tower of this main main market. And behind us is the Rat House, uh, old Rat House, and also the new Rat House, which is this building. You can see this one. So yeah, this is the town square. You can come here. You can see different the differences places. between the old and the, the new, new one. one. Exactly. And, and this is this is what symbolizes the city, to be honest. Because exactly. Mixed again, you see, and even in the main square. Everything is mixed and you see how simple is the new one and yeah. how beautiful architecture we can see on the old one. Old one. Yes. And this is what like is all about this city. You can come and visit this place. It's a, it is not too far from the cathedral. Yeah. Uh, all the main points are just near the cathedral. You can just walk around and visit one spot after the other. It's very easy for you. So we just we are just walking towards our tram station where we want to go to go to the chocolate museum so <laughs> before that we decided to come here uh, to the old market and show you the old market so see you at the chocolate museum now see you guys. hopefully <laughs> so hello guys hello. finally we are at the last spot which we are going to visit in this city which is the Chocolada Museum which is Chocolate Museum yeah, We're finally here! Yeah exactly and you can see it's, all, it's like a kid, kid's world to be honest there is fair, giant bees, food and the chocolate museum where you can try different chocolate and see how chocolate is made so we are excited to go inside and it's we will show you how it crowded. is inside yes. yeah it's very crowded so probably we will have to stand in queue to get a ticket but let's see. Let's we are, see we are very excited to go in and see. Exactly. We'll see some sweetness finally. Exactly. Yeah. And if, if you chocolate, chocolate. Which makes you happy. <laughs> and yes, I'm excited a lot. Yeah. See you inside. Prob I don't know if we are allowed to shoot or not, but if we are, then I'll surely take video for you. Right now we are inside the chocolate museum. The line was very long, as I said, because it was very crowded. Yes. It took us like at least 15 20 yes. minutes. Many minutes, many minutes say, yes. Yes. But once we enter, we got a free chocolate to welcome us to the school and buy 
which is like a kid. We feel ourselves like kids, you know, our dream comes true. We feel like it really won't come back to to be honest exactly. right now. Not that like really Monk, but still. But he looks like a father of Willy Wonka. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So no, a father of a kid. I think in Willy Wonka. He's the grandpa, not yes, the father. Yes, the grandpa, grandpa. Sorry, the grandpa. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So and now we are going into the museum. We are not interested a lot in the information. We are interested a lot into seeing how chocolate is made and to eat chocolate. And she's already eating a chocolate. So. I adore it. to be honest and they have controlled temperature and everything and it's really hot 30 around 30 degrees here really hot mm -hmm. so guys she is going to try to cultivate no not to cultivate to take the uh, cacao which usually weighs like 60 70 kgs and let's see if she can lift it Amazing try. You see guys in Africa, most number of cacao comes from Africa but it's done by child labor because there is a lot of poverty in West Africa. So and they get underpaid, they get almost like 1.90 dollars per day, which is the poverty line and most of them their income is below that line. So it's interesting but this facts also tell you something about things. Here you can see here also videos how it made from first to Yeah. You so see it's first they cut. Yeah, it's harvesting and collecting, then it's opening and removing, then they ferment it. After fermenting they dry it. After drying they put it on the boats and send them to the countries where chocolate is consumed a lot <coughs> so today we are in the our new sport uh, hello, hello. so what can you say about uh, this chocolate um, this chocolate factory yeah it's very good to be honest uh, the factory shows and gives lots of information i am now interested in cocoa business to be honest because i can buy cocoa at a very less price in uh, from africa because people are paid less there and it's pretty cool for businessmen like me yes uh, yes of course of course so and i can sell it at very higher price in these european countries because of course it's cocoa so it's pretty interesting to be honest and as yes. a businessman i have to do that i don't give a fuck about all that stuff definitely and <laughs> Guys, right now we are going to understand how many kilos of chocolate. So who eats the most chocolate? And here are countries. And we are going to push a button and understand who eats the most uh, amount of chocolate. What do you think? First, your opinion, and then you will see the truth. So Denmark. Imagine Germany. We are in the German factory. That there is probably they are winners, but to be honest, I don't think that that it is. Or they are so happy that they need chocolate only because otherwise they will have depression. Here we come to know about how chocolate is made from. There is whole lot of information here. I'm not gonna tell you everything because not gonna read everything. There is a lot of science, chemistry involved in all these things, and they have got into very very detailed process. They have also given a recipe of how each of their best-selling chocolates are made, like how much amount of what kind of ingredients they put in, and they have also shown here the 
storage packages of all their products which they use so it's very interesting yeah so guys it smells like chocolate, chocolate. here yeah Interesting. Here you get an opportunity to also taste the chocolate. So if you press the button and see, you can just observe the cave and how it does it. Just have to press the button and then a chocolate comes out and you can taste it. Guys, you must know that Lind also has this huge Easter chocolate specialties, and you can see the molds of those chocolates here, and different size, different shapes, different creatures. I would say, and it's. I, it's very very interesting to see. You can see all the molds they have here. So guys here you can see on the other side of the glass they are preparing different varieties of the chocolate like the lint chocolate and they are keeping it in the freezer to freeze the chocolate and then they can sell it. So it's very much interesting and they have lots of variety, lots of variety here. So guys this is the section where we come to know about the uh, culture and the history of cocoa and chocolate and you can see there are a lot of paintings my poetry by the way <laughs> I was born in Europe monkey and I love chocolate so you see yeah you see you see now Different. and then you can see lots of old uh, chocolate making pots and everything here and all about the history of chocolate so if you're interested you can look into it and read about it a lot and see so many things here so guys right now we are in chocolate school in this museum and there are <laughs> lots of lots of things for kids to do here you can see and different types of chocolates which were prepared and made and all these things like what kids love all the kinds of chocolate and there are many interesting uh, you can say tasks small tasks for kids to enjoy here and you can see the cult and classical classic chocolate the classic chocolates of all kinds 